Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at some Apple Watches that you should honestly consider buying in 2023. Now, I will definitely tell you, if you're buying an Apple Watch, the best thing you can do and the most important thing you should be considering is to buy a watch that is currently supported with software. So all the Apple Watches that are older than the Apple Watch Series 3 are not worth buying anymore because they just don't have as many software updates anymore. So the Series 3, I don't even think it's getting security updates anymore either. So you're going to be in a weird spot where this watch is like not getting any updates. It's already outdated. It was outdated like three years ago. So any Apple Watch older than the Series 3 is not worth buying. So that's the easiest thing to do. Just don't even look at those watches because they're not worth buying at all. Now moving forward, all the new Apple Watches Apple is making, I think these are great choices. I think the most common Apple Watch that I'm going to see a lot of people rock, and the one I would probably recommend a majority of people to buy watching this video, is the Apple Watch SE second generation. This is probably one of the just most casual watches you can buy in terms of the Apple Watches, and it's just something that's like a no-brainer. It just has no issues for the most part. It's very stable. It's a very good price. I mean, $249 for that cheap model, that's a very good price for an Apple Watch right there. And even in the more expensive one is $299 for the bigger model, and that's honestly a very good price too. They still pretty much are very similar to the Apple Watch Series 8. Clearly, there's going to be some differences, but I love the Apple Watch SE 2, and I definitely do think that if you're in the market and you need to go buy an Apple Watch, this is a no-brainer. This is one of those watches I would 1,000 million percent recommend buying, and it really doesn't get too much better than this. It does get better than this, clearly, but this is a watch that just makes so much sense to me. I think the Apple Watch Series 8 is also a very good Apple Watch. It's, it is better than the Apple Watch SE 2, but the thing with the Apple Watch Series 8 is that this thing is a little bit more expensive, but you are getting a few more features built in, which is always something that I like doing and I like seeing. So the Apple Watch Series 8, you know, you're getting those bigger displays. It is more costly, but it does feel a little bit better in the hand, which is something I've always seen. You are getting a few more features built in as well inside of the Apple Watch Series 8. You're getting IPX or 6X, you know, water resistance and dust resistance. So that's something that's important. You are getting an always on display on side of the Apple Watch Series 8. You are getting things like temperature sensing and a lot more features built in as well than the SE2. So that's another really good watch. I think the Apple Watch Ultra is just phenomenal if you're willing to have that massive size of a watch. But I don't think the average person is pretty much going to be using a watch like that. So I've always felt like if you're like a more of the outdoorsy person and you're okay with rocking such a massive durable watch, then by all means go for the Apple Watch Ultra, but I just don't think it makes a lot of sense for a lot of people, unless you're going outside and you're climbing mountains and you're always around water and you're like doing some crazy stuff like triathlons and you're always falling, then I probably would recommend the Ultra, but if you're not doing those kinds of things, it just doesn't make much sense at all to buy this type of watch. But this leaves us with some of the watches in the middle. I think a good overall good quality watch that's gone down quite a bit in the used market is probably the Apple Watch Series 7. This thing is about a year old. It's like a year and a half old now. And I think Apple did a great job back then. And I think they're doing it. They're doing a great job right now with that watch. It's going to be supported with software for many, many years. It's a very fast Apple Watch 2. And visually, it looks more similar to an Apple Watch Series 8. So it's not like you're going to be getting like a super outdated Apple Watch by any means from that standard either. So personally for me, I look at all these Apple Watches that I recommended, and I think they're solid choices. I don't think you need to go and buy the most expensive ones, or you need to buy like the most expensive watches. You can buy used models of all these ones too, and still have a really good experience. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.